Und wenn man da das aktiviert, dieses Poster, dann ähm, spawnt man das Fahrzeug hierher. Genau. Pff, okay. <lacht> da ist es. This is a really special game with a weird story, weird graphics and a thirsty goat head. Mundown has been made in Switzerland by the solo dev Michel Ziegler. It's a spooky adventure game which has been released in March 2021 on PC and consoles. Let's dive into the weird story first. It all starts with you sitting on a bus on your way to a village called Mundown, which sits on top of the Swiss mountains. You've received a letter from the town priest who told you that your grandfather has died in a fire in his barn. He didn't want you to come, but somehow you feel that something is off. So you drive to Mundown to investigate. Fun fact, this town actually exists in real life and it's a place where the developer has spent a lot of time as a child. That's something he told me on my podcast Open Indie, link down below. He explained why he made this town the center of a horror story. In short, because apparently in real Mondown you do find creepy old paintings and hear of old stories of the devil and such. The story of virtual Mondown also has some evil in it. You see that right at the beginning of the game when you get off the bus. You immediately find the burned out barn where your grandfather has died and next to it is a strange painting. You begin to have a vision and are being teleported to that exact moment where the barn was on fire. You see a strange man painting that fire and your grandpa calling for help. Then this strange man talks to you and burns your hand. You then pass out, I guess, and wake up in the real world again and inside the burned out barn together with your dead Großvater. You get the feeling that he's cursed and you want to find a way to free him. So your goals are to lift the curse, find the spooky painter who burned your hand and most important of all, pet the sheep. Hello, T. One thing that really pulls you into the story and the setting is the voiceover. This is actually the real spoken language of Mondown, the fourth official language of Switzerland, called Red Romanic. Only 0.5% of the Swiss population still speak it, so around 40,000 people, but that's enough to find voice actors for the game. <laughs> The deaf even found an actress who can hilariously imitate a talking goat. <laughs> Gameplay-wise, there is not a lot to do in Mundown. I wouldn't say it's a walk sim, because you still have quests, an inventory, you solve some puzzles, you can even level up a bit. And not to spoil too much, you also gotta fight evil things here and then. The focus though lies more on the exploration and sinking into this strange black and white painted world. Fun fact number two, Solodev Michel Ziegler has painted this game by hand with real actual pencils. And I think that pencil style really makes this whole atmosphere tense and lets you sometimes forget to breathe. So after experiencing this nightmarish flashback of your grandfather burning to death, you first try to relax a bit, settle in and boost your fear resistance by making yourself some coffee. Uh, 
just how do I make coffee? Yeah, although the gameplay isn't difficult, you still need to learn how to interact with things and what things you need in the first place. To make coffee, you need to find uh, coffee, uh, a pot, a cup, wood and matches. With the pot, you first need to look for a water source. Select a pot from the inventory and fill it up. Oops, uh, sorry, <laughs> wrong picture. With the full pot, you go back to the kitchen, put the pot on the stove, put the wood block underneath, but before lighting it, you need to put the coffee in the pot, then use the matches and wait. Ah, finally! But why can't I take it? Ah, the cup! Use cup on pot, optionally sit down next to the radio and enjoy. Easy, right? Well, if you thought so, try to drive the hay loader later in the game. You always gotta turn the key to start driving. And when you're panicking, that's suddenly not so easy anymore. I won't go into much more detail about the game, like why there's hay around your head, why there's a goat head in your inventory, if there's maybe a chance to ski or slide, like in the real Swiss Alps, or where you'll have to drive with the hay loader and why it spawns so crazy. Well, I don't know the answer to the last one, but it's awesome. Mundown is a dark and scary adventure, but sometimes I was surprised how calm I felt in between when seeing these beautiful landscapes of the Swiss Alps. I just love these hand-drawn graphics and the authentic voices. The story can keep up its mysterious vibes until the end. And believe me, you'll come across some very strange things. Oh God, this muss ich mit Schinken ein Lied spielen. <laughs> it's not the best story ever written, but you do want to get behind this mystery and are not getting disappointed in the end. The gameplay is simple, but there's still a small challenge, especially in fights. And I always like when the gameplay is somewhat unique. Sure, the controls are nothing completely new, but I can't come up with a game where making coffee like this is exactly the same. The dev Michel Ziegler did not create something generic, he was actually really creative and he's giving the player a real adventure, with mechanics and visuals that haven't been copied a hundred times. Know what I mean? 